everyone and welcome back. This week we are going to go over another hero of the Bible, Moses. Moses frees God's people. 400 years after Joseph was a ruler in Egypt, there was a new pharaoh. He was afraid the children of Israel, called Hebrews, would multiply and join his enemies. So he made them slaves. He even passed a law that all their boy babies were to be killed. One mother hid her baby, but when he got too big to hide, she put him in a wicker basket and set it afloat on the Nile River. His sister Miriam hid nearby to see what would happen. The pharaoh's own daughter was walking along the Nile and found the baby. He was so adorable that she wanted to keep him, even though she knew he was a Hebrew boy. Then Miriam came up and asked the princess, Would you like me to find a Hebrew mother to take care of the baby? The princess said yes. And of course Miriam went and got her own mother. When he was older, she took him to the princess who named him Moses and raised him as her own son in the palace. One day when Moses was grown up, he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew slave. Moses killed the Egyptian to save the Hebrew and then went to the wilderness to hide. He stayed there for many years until God spoke to him from a burning bush. I will send you to Pharaoh so that you may bring my people out of Egypt, God said. At first, Moses was afraid to go, but God gave him courage and power. Moses went to Pharaoh and demanded that he let the children of Israel go free. The Pharaoh refused, so God sent ten plagues. First, he turned the river into blood. Then he covered the country with frogs and later with swarms of insects. Next, the cattle all died, and then the people were covered with ugly sores. Then there were thunderstorms with large hail, and then grasshoppers ate up all the crops. But the pharaoh was stubborn, and each time he refused to let the people go. Finally, God sent the angel of death to kill all the firstborn sons, even the pharaohs. The Hebrew families were protected from this plague. All the Egyptians were very sad, and finally pharaoh agreed to let the Hebrews go. They packed their wagons and carts and headed for the wilderness, praising God and Moses for their deliverance. The pharaoh changed his mind and followed them with his army. But when they got to the Red Sea, Moses stretched out his rod and God parted the waters. The children of Israel just walked across. When Pharaoh's army tried to follow them, the waters came together again and all his army was drowned. God's people were finally free. A Basket Boat Moses' mother put him in the Nile in a basket made of papyrus reeds and waterproof with tar. These reeds can be found all along the river and sometimes grow as tall as 16 feet twice as tall as any NBA star. The Egyptians used the reed to invent paper. Aaron's talent. Even though Moses was a great leader, he had trouble talking. He spoke slowly and stuttered, but his brother Aaron was good with words and could talk easily with crowds. God let Aaron speak for Moses, and so the two brothers worked together to do God's work. The Passover. Hebrews today are called Jews. On Passover, a Jewish holiday, they remember the night the death angel passed over their firstborn children while the children in Egypt died. The Hebrew families marked their doorposts with lamb's blood, which saved their children. In today's Passover celebration, the children ask why the night is special, and the father tells the story of how the Hebrews were freed from Egypt. This custom has been ongoing for 3,000 years or more. Well, I hope you enjoyed and learned something, and as always, you are invited to Sunday School at Pasco Community Baptist Church, Sundays at 10.